is our main event of the evening. It is scheduled for one fall with no time limit. And it is for the XBW King of the Deathmatch Championship. This is it. Right now, this is what so many fans have come to see from all over the world, Rivera. Again, people have come from Europe, from Australia, from Hawaii, to XBW's whole day in hell. And it's all culminated right now. There's no ropes. It's barbed wire, bits of everything. Double hell death match as we see Necro Butcher, unprecedented, first time ever in an XPW arena. And J.R. Benson, that very sadistic, I had the, uh, I guess I could say the pleasure of working with this guy in the past, very sadistic individual. You knew how that guy's mind works. Oh. Chico, look at this guy, a tire calcio. He has no shoes on, no sock. What is wrong with this guy? Look a lot, that. a lot. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the sleazy pornography dealer who likes to grab men in the balls, J.R. Benson. All you sickos need to make some noise for the undisputed king of the death matches and the Jesus Christ is savior of blood, gore, and violence, the Necro Butcher. And the fans, well, showing their respect for a hardcore icon indeed. This guy has held hardcore titles all over the world, Rivera. And his opponent. Talk about a champion, the current remaining XBW King of the Deathmatch Champion, the Human Horror Film, Supreme! And what's an XBW show without Supreme? Chico, he's got, it looks like some cerveza there in the hand, a little beer to, to loosen him up before he gets the thumb dot and bar wire stuck in the head and the, the face. What do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? The liquid push? And look, saying hello to the over 1,000 fans that are joining us here tonight. Supreme is back home. XPW is back. And he is damn sure representing tonight. It's the Supreme Fan Club, the Human Horror Show follower. Look at this, man. This Necro Butcher, Chico, with no truth. I still can't get that through my head. Oh, what an image. And what are we going to see? I mean, again, oh, look at this sharing with the fans. The XBW fans, that 40, yo. You can make sure that that woman has no cooties. No. Or you're getting that beer back. That was the comic book guy from The Simpsons in the crowd. Well, never mind. Right now, it's going to be, a, I mean, this is it. East meets West, if you will. The most hardcore icon of the East Coast, Necro With the mouth trap. And the most hardcore icon of the West Coast. I'm talking about Supreme. Who will prove dominant for the world tonight? But Chico, this guy, Supreme, has been to hell and back. Has been to death and then back to the life. Chico, remember the original Deathmatch tour. Oh, he baptized in blood. Oh. Remember the second one, baptized in blood. Remember the rap to Chico when he got on fire. They actually set him on fire, Chico. Everyone thought that was the end of Supreme. Se acabó en este negocio de pro wrestling. But what happened? He comes back. It's like Frankenstein, Chico. It's Frankenstein's son. El hijo de Frankenstein. Unbelievable. You're exactly right, Rivera. I mean, this guy has seen it and done it all, except for one thing. And that is going against the other icon in this business of hardcore wrestling. The Necro Butcher, and it's all popped right here tonight. I can't wait. I mean, everybody, myself, I can see you. Everyone's on the edge of their seat, Rivera. 
Neko Butcher, primarily known, like you say, on the East Coast, doing many battles with the likes of Corporal Robinson and all kind of other crazy lunatic. But today, he has decided, I am coming to the West Coast and facing this Supreme. His opponent is from Hollywood, California. He is the four-time and current and reigning defending XPW King of the Deathmatch Champion. He is the human horror film. He is Supreme. The XPW King of the Deathmatch title is once again on the line. And I think I would have to say one of the most intelligent referees in this business. Of course, senior official Patrick Hernandez with those industrial goggles, the industrial gloves. I mean, this guy's been through hell and back as far as refereeing matches are concerned. He puts himself in harm's way as well, but this match is underway. Right? That's right, Patrick Hernandez, the referee with the Sabu and Abdullah, Sabu and Terry Funk all kind of the violent crap so very much he has the experience to deal with this kind of match collar and elbow tie up both men right now basically feeling each other out in the early process of this death match again the ropes are gone barbed wire surrounds two sides of the ring and beds of everything around the ring God have mercy on both these men's soul, Rivera. You see the motto on the, the T-shirt of Necro Butcher, choose the death. Choose death. Escoge la muerte, brother, because that is the only way you are going to go when you deal with this kind of match. And now both men vying for, and look at the barbed wire right behind Supreme. Don't think he doesn't know where he's at in one of these matches. Not too easy, size-wise, just to push him into this barbed wire, but he has that presence of mind. He knows, he can sense the weapons, but so can the Butcher. The Chico, at least they are starting off with a, some kind of scientific move, the, the collar and elbow tie up. But I think that's about as far as they are going to go. I mean, this is like two superheroes going. It's like when in the Incredible Hulk, when, when the Hulk, when he gets the, the, the evil Hulk. I mean, it's it's like two super. You don't know what's gonna happen, and you cannot pick a winner. That's the strength. Look at this. I can tell you something. You are not going to see Jack Briscoe or Dory Funk Jr. sitting here at ringside taking notes on how to improve well, in the no. wrestling game. Watching this, chick. Nice suplex from that test of strength. Dumps Necro. Oh no, he's going right for the barbed wire right away. But Necro, again, just like Supreme Rivera, presence of mind himself back right away, knew exactly what Supreme was up to. And he knew exactly what a guy was up to that he's never fought before. That just tells you right now, both these guys think so much alike. That's right, the instinctive reaction that you need in the violent crap kind of match is very different than the kind you need in, in a regular scientific. You saw that big headbutt. It's Necro Butcher stunning, Supreme. Finally getting Supreme up against one of the barbed wire, Chief. Barely, barely getting, I don't know if he's up there or not, and Supreme still holding on. And you can see Supreme is already bleeding from the arm. That's but possibly a result of the barbed wire. Yeah, and Necro going to work on that arm. Oh no, oh no! Hey. He goes crashing into those mousetraps! They're still going off, Rivera! We have more than one referee in this match. Patrick Hernandez inside, Rick Knox outside. The mousetraps, if you roll over just an inch on those things. Uh oh, he's got a light tube. Rivera already in the play. What are we going to see here? The Star Wars time, Chief of the Darth Vader lightsaber has come out. And these fans gearing up for it as well, covering their eyes. Headbutt, the fun. That's a good point, Chris Cross. Some of these fans, they have never experienced the, the light bulbs exploding at close range. That's dangerous dust. Look, he's taking the edge. Oh, yeah, Chico, no me diga. Right now, digging it oh, into the head. Oh, you violent crap. Open your eyes, Rivera. Look at this. Chico. And now, talk about blood supreme bleeding from the arm, from the head. And I have a feeling 
Those aren't the only places at the end of the night he will have bled from. Oh no, and again the light tube on that open wound. The ice, the ice. Look at this. Oh God, He's eating it. What the hell am I watching? Why did you invite me here tonight, Chico? What the hell am I doing here? This guy, está loco, está loco, crazy. Rivera, you just stay seated. You sit down. Look at this. The chair now, right into the ribs of Supreme. But Necro's not done with them. He's not done with them yet. Oh, right to the eyes. And biting. now he's biting that already bloodied head of Supreme, spitting the blood out. This is sick. Vampiro, the vampire, Chief. And I'm not talking about the, the one for her. This is another sick, vampiric type of individual. Look at that table. Look at all the light tubes, the barbed wire. The weaponry around this ring, second to none. Outdoing itself. Uh-oh. And speaking of that, Necro Butcher trying desperately to kick Supreme into that table of whatever you want to call it. Necro Butcher with big right hand, big right foot to the head, another foot. And Supreme teetering. Uh-oh. Look at this going for a suplex, baby. Belly to belly. Oh, oh no, and he nailed him. The full thing go crashing through the lights in the barbed wire. Necro Butcher también with a minimal amount of protection. Look at the crowd. The crowd relishing in this violent crap. They love this crowd. That's why they're here in the first place, Chief. Absolutely right. This place is packed tonight. And the... And, and these guys are gonna be packed with pain at the end of the night. Glass all over the body, wiping it off. Cuts, lacerations, literally all over the body. Look at that glass is draining, draining in your skin. You don't have any, how, how much time do you have to, to pick every single piece of glass out of the, the leg or the arm? You just deal with it, Chief. You don't, yeah, you don't, Rivera. And you can see now the face, that tells it all right now. And Supreme telling the fans, I love you. And, 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 and as he's going, walking around all bloodied and battered, ready to inflict more punishment. How ironic. I love you. That's the violent crap sort of, of giving the affection, Chief. Well, these fans are definitely in for a treat, and they are standing in awe right now. Look at the blood loss just dripping, Supreme. pouring down his head. Supreme back in the ring, but he has to deal with not only the blood in the eyes, but the charred, the fragment of the glass tubes. Oh, all kind of crap, wood from the from the mouse trap. And look at look at this. The butcher spitting glass out of his. I mean, he was eating. He was chewing on that light tube earlier. So the inside of the mouth has got to be all cut up and lacerated. Yeah, Chico, I'm glad I... Oh, arm right, oh no! And he got the King of the Death Bench title! And he hit Supreme right in the already bloodied head. Here comes Necro Butcher back on the attack. He was down, he looked like Supreme had the advantage, but Necro back on top, using the King of the Death Match title belt as a weapon. That's not the first time this belt has been involved in wars. That belt's been defended all over the world. And look at this, trying to edge him into, oh, light tube, desperation from Supreme. Last minute move, as Supreme luckily found the light tube and brought it over the shoulder. Surprising Necro with a big blast to the forehead. And Necro blinded, he doesn't know where he's at. Totally winded, blinded. And Supreme now. Eyeing the weapons around the ring, trying to figure out in that sick mind what he's gonna do next. Necro blind from the glass, no idea where he's at. Looking, searching for the edge of the ring, some kind of something to tell him where he's at. And Necro in a world of hurt now, you can see rolling over that almost that look of concern, realizing who's who's on the offense now, realizing maybe who he is in fact in the ring with. You see that the marijuana tattoo on the on the shoulder of Necro Butcher, maybe what he needs right now is a big bolongo. Well, you know to, what? To take care of the pain, Chief. Draping the arm down, Supreme, oh no! Oh no, look at that, Rivera. Just look like, like a lever, using the arm like yeah. a lever on the, the barbed wire, puncturing the skin. Wow, biting him down. What are we watching, Chief? I don't know. This is brutality at its most brutal, 
Thank you very much, Chico. Look at the face of Necro Butcher completely covered in blood. The arm of Supreme oh. slice up worse than the dusty road. Chick. Unbelievable. You were talking about maybe Necro needing a hit of his favorite uh, substance. We saw Supreme walk it in with that 40. Maybe both these guys could use both of a little bit. Huh. The natural painkiller, Chick. Oh, and right now, it's Necro Butcher with an arm bar. And it looks like he, uh-oh, we have another table down Watch there. Watch our next sweep. Uh-oh, to the outside. Are we going to see it? Yes! Right on top of the table with the light hooked to the barbed wire again. Another actual wrestling move, Chico, that result in more violent crap. And when they go into it, it's like an explosion. These guys are wrapped up in the barbed wire glasses everywhere. Supreme wrap in the barbed wire. This is sort of reminiscent. Remember the Terry Funk, Sabu famous barbed wire match. Oh. Do I ever. Necro, Necro Butcher did not get tangled in the wire so he can get back in the ring. But Supreme, that's another story. Supreme went crashing as a result of that Russian leg sweep into that table wrapped in barbed wire oh, and light tubes. Here. I mean, again, this, oh, go for the pin. One to only two. Balls count anywhere, Chief. Anywhere indeed. Supreme able to kick out, but Supreme again a victim. Look at this glass, barbed wire. What? It, oh, the chair wrapped in barbed wire in there. Right over the head and onto the back of Supreme. Unbelievable. Jacob, it's going to be hard to go to sleep tonight, I'm telling you. It's a nightmare. Uh oh. This is what the nightmares are made of, Jacob. On top of that chair, a back senton standing right onto that chair on Supreme, and that has got to take a lot out of the human horror film. Necro Butcher as well, with cut up all over the place, the back of the arm, the legs, the head, the chest, and the J.R. Benson trying in vain. Well, that's a sick individual. To motivate, to motivate his his man this evening. I had to see Necro Butcher. I had to sit with him in a broadcast. I'm, at, I, I'm more comfortable sitting here with you, Rivera. Absolutely, Chief. J.R. Benson in now. Oh, no, don't tell me this. Necro throwing Supreme over the guard railing. These fans better get the hell out of the way. Necro Butcher now trying to take the railing apart, smashing Supreme with the edge of that rail. And that is hard steel. Supreme laid out now on the concrete floor here amongst these sea of chairs. Necro just big one chair up after you three oh. Four chair at the same time. Here's another four. Like that's seven. Unbelievable. Forget the math. I mean, the whole first section of this arena has been poured on top of Supreme. It's raining chairs. Necro Butcher losing his mind. Oh! He's going over the edge. Said, Tari, ya se... No, I will bet And where are these fans going to sit now? One, two. No, only two. Supreme still alive. Go figure. Those are the $100 seats here at the arena. These fans are left standing. Oh, no, the I lemon. Can't. Ah, it's a cat. Oh, right into the cut. You got. Oh, I can't even watch this. Unbelievable. The Coke can grinding into the head of Supreme. Oh, and now insult to injury. Jabbing, jabbing the forehead with the jagged edge of an aluminum can. Chick. New the fan, the fan running for the life as they are taking it upstairs to the top of the bleacher. Oh my goodness, they're going to the, like he said, all the way up the bleachers now. All these fans clearing the hell out of the way and I do not blame them, a smart move in my book. Referees are following the action. Like you mentioned earlier, Rivera, falls, of course, count anywhere in this match. Look at the fans surrounding the action. Very hard to see what's going on right now. Supreme escaping almost. Necro not far behind him, limping. Barely, you got to remember, once again, barefoot Necro. And Supreme wants to take it back to the ring where all the weapons are at. No weapons in the, in the audience, Chico. The bar wire is down by the ring. Can you imagine walking in this Rivera with bare feet? 
I mean, sometimes you go out to the driveway, you need the, the slippers. <laughs> you know, this guy's going in glass. Unbelievable. J.R. Benson following the action. Who knows what kind of tricks he's got in his head. Uh-oh, we got a power bump perhaps coming up from Supreme. Hammering away now at the back of the neck. Oh, no, he reversed it. Necro reversed it in Supreme onto the, the bed of light bulbs. Back drop right onto the glass tubes. More injury, more insult. An injury. And Supreme actually landing on that 2x4 holding the bed together as well. Referees, oh. Patrick Hernandez and Rick Knox checking on both participants as Necro oh. with another light tube across the back of the head. Look at the blood loss of both men now in this matchup as Necro continuing to wail away at Supreme. You know, Chico, when, when Supreme was a little kid, you think the mother and the father was sitting there saying, you know, one day my little boy is going to grow up to get a head full of barbed wire, Chico. Choking now, raking his eye. He is raking his eye with that barbed wire. And no, Rivera, there's no way when Little Supreme was in the high chair eating the Gerber, they were thinking any of that. Unbelievable. Necro Butcher now following up Supreme with the double axe handle shot. Oh no, Supreme throwing that wrapped up tubes of light bulb in the ring. And you think when Sam Mushnik invented the NWA back in the 30, Chico, that this would be the result, the end result of his great base what what is this violent crap chief all right rivera we've heard for, we we've, we've heard that from you time and time again but we're in it this is it and look at the chair wrapped in barbed wire as well in the ring along with the fluorescent tube suplex perhaps coming up it looks like necro trying to set supreme up here rivera what are we going to see nice. oh, no. reverse oh and lucky lucky for necro butcher he missed but he came right down on that knee. look at jr benson in the ring this guy must have a death witch. He's oh. going into the chair. Right onto the barbed wire chair wrapped up. And look at the pain on his face. Oh no, a distraction though. Ah. Thumbtacks. The thumbtacks. A pail, a bucket full of thumbtacks. What a smart move on the part of Supreme. Bucket right to the head. On the barefooted. Necro Butcher. Supreme. Oh. oh my goodness. Blood. The blood is dripping out. Oh my goodness! Unbelievable. And Supreme stomping Necro's feet into the thumbtacks. He's trying to pull him out. This is unbelievable. This is truly unbelievable. Chico, this and look at Necro grabbing on to the cunion, to the huevos of Supreme. The most overutilized word in this business is unbelievable. But I damn well mean it. This is unbelievable. The only way Necro Butcher can buy some time to get remove those thumbtacks is to attack where it hurt most. Down below, two. One, One two, two, and the snow. Oh my goodness. What a match so far. What a battle. Truly one of the greatest hardcore matches in the history of pro wrestling. And now you know why Patrick Hernandez wears those industrial strength gloves. Oh, absolutely. You can't get those at Home Depot. Those are special order gloves. And now, the Necro Butcher, DDT! Right into the thumbtacks. Oh my goodness, Ted Look at this, look at that. Picking the thumbtacks, and now they're in the skull of Supreme. Oh, look at that image. One, two, no, only two. I hope this fan appreciate what these guys are doing because this is nothing short of legalized murder. And you know what? I think they do, Rivera. But you can see the lifeless bodies that are in the ring right now. The lifeless expressions. It's like Necro setting him up for a Saito suplex. Again. Oh! Ready to belly, but he failed. The weight of Supreme falling right on top of the Butcher. And you can see all the thumbtacks now in the back of Necro Butcher. And Supreme, oh, there's the light tube, don't forget. 
And these fans in awe tonight. Uh oh. What do we have here? Oh, hit first. Jacob, this match will make Onita proud. One, two, that's it, it's over. Supreme remains the Yar. king of the death match. This really could have gone either Winner. way. You have to give it up for both men. Your winner. Your winner, and still XPW King of the Death Match Champion, Supreme. I think it's safe to say, Rivera, that for the first time these guys have ever met, they truly now have respect for one another. Well, Chico, that is a sure. I can find, I can think of a lot easier way of gaining somebody else respect, Chico. Well, not these guys, not Supreme, not the Necro Butcher, and not at XPW's cold day in hell. An incredible night, a journey through time, and a night to remember XPW's cold day in hell. We saw the Miss Extreme Contest Rivera. We saw the incredible three-way dance. We saw the reuniting of the gangsters. We saw the tribute, the battle royal to the great late Dynamite D. All kind of cop chicken. And one thing I have to say, it has been a pleasure to be back in this great group known as XPW, as you can see here. Supreme putting out the hand to Necro Butcher, Chico. The sign of the violent crap respect. Respect, one word right there. And these fans giving it up for both men. Supreme successfully, however, defending the XPW King of the Death Match title. Unbelievable, what a night, fans. For more information, log on to the XPW.com or Big Vision Entertainment. Com. What a night this was. A journey through time. A night to remember, Rivera. And Chico, I would like to take this time to thank all the fans for allowing me to come back. Thank you, Chris Cross. Thank you very much, Chico. Give it up once again for your winner and still XPW King of the Deathmatch Champion, Supreme! Fans, good night.